right, so today we are getting a load of gravel. And I have to meet the driver here at the gas station, which is right down the street from the blimp site, and show them how to get there. It's not that hard to get there, it's just it doesn't pull up on GPS. So the plan today is to get the gravel, finish the outdoor kitchen, and then start moving some of that gravel underneath the, the glamping deck and the kitchen and the shower and expand the parking space so that you can pull in a little bit easier. So that's what we got going on today. So right here is what $665 will buy you. It's uh, six tons, six tons of gravel. <laughs> Doesn't look like six tons, but that's six tons of gravel, $695, or $665. So the plan is to take this driveway out to about right there, take it down here, and bring it back to here so that you can pull your car in. So you should be able to get two cars there and one car here. And then the rest of this gravel is going over there under the glamping deck, a little trail to that, a little trail to that, and I have a little bit of gravel, like five foot, uh, down on the bottom side that goes to the, the fire deck that needs to be finished. So, yeah, you get to move all this by hand with that, that wheelbarrow and a shovel. It's in the back of my truck. Fun stuff. got some progress I've basically got this whole parking space right here done you can see behind me all of that is new from there to about right here and down and back used a wheelbarrow and a shovel and um, about I don't know a quarter of this big rock pile you can see there where it was and it went all the way straight across so used about that much from here to here <laughs> Alright, so what we have here looks like a bunch of garbage, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm using the cardboard and the weed barrier as underlayment for the gravel. Um, just collected all the cardboard boxes from like the pit boss grill that I had and the other furniture and things. Uh, just saved them up and I'm using them as underlayment so the, the weeds and the, and the grass and the trees don't grow up through the gravel. So it'll keep this all nice and clean under here. Um, I had to source some branches and sticks and logs from the forest that were all falling down already. I didn't cut anything down. Um, those are going to be the sides for the gravel. Uh, I'm going to start over there, work my way back. I did not have enough underlayment or cardboard to finish the rest of this, but I probably will not be able to get all of this done anyway, even if I did, um, because I have to move it from over there to over here. One wheelbarrow at a time and a wheelbarrow covers about that much area right there like that that one piece of cardboard that's what the wheelbarrow will cover 
So this is about, I don't know, 50 or so trips. We'll see. Okay. I did not get as much done as I wanted to. And it's okay. Um, most days are like this. So I got the unlayment down and I started putting the gravel. You can see I got it here all the way in front of the stairs. Um, and then I also have it back over here. Let me turn this around. I got, well, about a third of it. Um, got it here up to the outdoor kitchen, which I didn't get to work at all on, and here to the shower house, which still needs to be done. Um, but I cleaned up all the mess here and piled it all in the pile over there. Uh, and yeah, I moved all this one wheelbarrow at a time. Um, just that right there is like four. And then this is like another five. And another four or five. And that's about eight. Um, but it will get done. Next time I'm up here, I should be able to finish all of that. Uh, it's beautiful out here, by the way. Um, been in the shade the whole day. That's good because me and the sun, we don't get along. Uh, I did finish up the path down here. If you'll see, if you want to walk with me through the forest. Uh, walking down the mountain in the Uwaris. We are about 700 or so feet um, above sea level here. So it's not huge, but it is a mountain. Um, the remnants of huge mountains, they say. Uh, the largest on North American continent they say uh but yeah i put um like four wheelbarrows full down here all the way to the path i need to get a couple more of these logs to go right here but now you can walk all the way to the path without worrying about nope ropes or anything like that underneath your feet because you'll be able to see them if they're on the path because nope ropes do live here and if you don't know what a nope rope is well there's copperheads and there's timber rattlers. They both live out here. I have not seen any up here in the year that I have been working on this clamp site. Uh, but yeah, this is their home. We are just visiting. So let the wild things be. They are wild things. Just to be aware that they are out here. Uh, and watch where you put your feet. But that's why I built this path. So that you can see what is in front of you. Because uh, those, uh, those skinny nope ropes... They blend in well with the foliage. Uh, but yeah, check out that deck. Isn't that beautiful? It is actually pretty beautiful. Uh, I started out with a couple sketches on this, like on a piece of paper. And uh, it manifested into what you see here. Uh, which really is nothing like the sketches that I drew. Uh, but yeah, that's the vision that I had in my head. Wraps around these trees, looks like a tree house. Um, and then... I also did get the driveway done. Uh, you drive on a parkway, but you park on a driveway. Or in a driveway, actually. You park in the driveway. You drive on the parkway. Uh, which is weird, but that's uh, that's the vernacular that we use. Um, I made it so you can pull in and park here. And then you can back out and go out that way. And you can actually fit two cars side by side right here on this new pad that I just did. Uh, and then you can, it's a tight squeeze, but you can put a car here and a car here, pull straight in. Uh, this actually goes all the way out to here. Uh, I got these first cuts on here. Um, project for another day, they're going to go on the on the edges of the, the deck there. Have a live, live wood edge on the bottom of it as a cap. Did go through like um, almost, well, more than a third. Almost two-thirds, I guess. About half-ish of this big, giant, six-ton uh, pile of gravel. One shovel at a time. Uh, but yeah, that's all we got done for today. Uh, like I said, I always want to get more done, but there are more days ahead that we can do that. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want to get more updates. Please hit the notification bell and you will be notified every time a new video comes out. Uh, and hit that like button just to show YouTube that you like watching my channel. Uh, have a great day.